Good evening, it is nearly 10pm on Thursday the 22nd of October and it's time for Today in My Boot Journal. How are you? I hope you are. I'm absolutely exhausted. Really, 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 really tired. I thought I'd go to bed early and get a good night's sleep and all of that lot and that just didn't happen. So, did you have a little spider? <laughs> Um, yeah, it just didn't. I just lay awake for fucking ages, and it was like, dude, you know, I must have been awake for about an hour and a half, I think, all told. Ridiculous. Um, I edited and uploaded sort of something. I don't know if my mic is picking that up. That's my neighbour. Every night I have this goes on for about an hour from about half nine i think he's playing um like video games you know games consoles xbox or something like that um because one night i heard him yelling and i went over to the shop and his lounge curtains were open i could see inside and he had like fifa or something pathetic on the fucking tv and i think he just yells at it he's just one of those but some he goes mad he's in there effing and blind and screaming i can hear him now so i don't know if my mic is picking that up if it is I apologise for the noise, but you know, there isn't really much I can do about it. The guy's a jerk. Didn't do anything yesterday. Not a damn thing. <laughs> okay, let's change the pen. And this is a different pen. It doesn't look like it is, but it is, honestly. <laughs> So today I did my teeth and my day face cream. I need to get back into the habit of wearing makeup more often. It just makes me feel better. I am filming. Yeah, he goes on these massive rants and screams and shouts and swears and it's just like, you know, and it's like, I don't think he's arguing with anybody in there. I can't hear anybody shouting back, you know, and I don't hear, I mean, I think he's punched a wall a couple of times, but I don't hear like sounds of domestic violence or anything like that, do you know what I mean? But there's also, and it's, there are times though when I want to bang on the wall. It's like it kicked off the other day, middle of the day, and you know, Daryl could hear him, he didn't say anything, but you could hear him, I could fucking hear him. You could hear him wherever you are in the house, because he's the adjoining wall, we live in semi-detached housing. And sometimes I think, you know, shall I bang on the wall? But then, like, tonight, I'm at home on my own. It's just me and Daryl, you know? Um, and if I do, how's he going to react to it? So I don't really know what to do. And I don't want to call the police, because he'll know then that it was me, do you know what I mean? So... So yeah, I don't know. I've knit loads today. I'm so close to finishing the socks. I'll actually be finishing those on my Saturday stream, which I am so freaking excited about because I spent like a good couple of hours today doing my loyalty badges for my Twitch streams. So if you subscribe, you get a special badge. Yay. I've had caffeine, I've not had booze. I've had chips because me and the kids went to McDonald's. <laughs> I've also decided how my future junk journals are going to go. There's going to be a lot more white space, um, but I'm also not going to do a themed journal like this because it's really restricting. And if I don't use all the pages, I'm sort of like, uh, you know, because if I don't journal every day, then I've, I've, there's a whole load of pages there that I've not used. So I think I'm going to use all the papers that I've got and then when it comes to a themed time of year like Christmas, October or birthdays and that, I will just like stick the cardstock in or I will use it as journaling cards or something like that. So I think that would be the best way. Okay, so um, he cleaned his teeth. He didn't make his bed. We haven't done any schooling, but then it's half term for school children as well. So, um, 
He did tidy up a little bit in the lounge and he's done his nighttime teeth. He hasn't tidied his room, I know that. He hasn't done that for a few days. I think we need to have a big blitz tomorrow because the house is pissing me off and it's, you know, right. Oh crap, I finished that week 41 ages ago. We're on week 43 now. Hmm, okay, so... What, what are we on? Right, we are on... We're on Thursday. We're on Thursday, so Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So it was that really pale pinky one was the day that we finished that. I don't know why I need to do it this way, I just do, okay? Before you're sitting there going, why the fuck are you doing it that way? Because I do. So week 41 was finished on this pale pinky pinky day. And then I'm going to take a photo of it and upload it now. you live next door to noisy neighbours what are they like you know I mean the people that were there previous well the people that were there when I moved back in it was a family mum dad three girls and they were great barely heard them except when they had barbecues because the barbecues would go on quite late and they would be out in the garden and you know cookouts grills depending on where you live um and that was a bit annoying but it didn't happen that often you know maybe once twice a twice a year yeah, what the f They've changed fucking Instagram again. Ugh. Um. And that was fine. Then they sold up and sold the house to this girl. And it was her and her sister in a four bedroom house, which seemed a bit weird. And um, they bought it like sort of December time and within a couple of weeks we were like oh my god because there were like late parties going on four five o'clock in the morning I called the police at one point i was like this has been this is ridiculous it's like half three in the morning i've got a kid in, you know and all this lot and um they, one of the girls was screaming do you know what i mean and um police went around and it took them to ages to get entrance and um they said there's nothing we could do it's a private party that's the law here in the uk that you know if they're on private property fuck all you can do about it so you know i i got the environmental health you know uh, uh, involved at that point and then a couple more parties and i went around and hammered on the door and you know it got to about half past five after i called the police that first time and i went around fucking banged on the door as me Stuart and alex all went piling around and i just hammered on the door and they opened up and they were obviously off their heads do you know what i mean I fucking turn it off! Oh, we were just about to do. I said, oh, the fucking police were here three hours ago. No, no, it was about something else. I said, no, it fucking wasn't because I called them, you prick. Do you know what I mean? I really, really went off on him. Uh, no, he didn't even fucking live there. You know, and she was still screaming in the background, this girl, you know? And then, I don't know what happened, but I think the two sisters might have had a big fight because all of a sudden the boyfriend and, and one of the sisters disappeared. And it was just one girl and her boyfriend and a couple of friends that would occasionally turn up, do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, it was sort of like, she, she was all right, I suppose. She, she's obviously, she's impaired. She bought the house um, with cash. She was a pillion passenger on her dad's motorbike when she was young and um, her dad was hit by a car and killed and she was injured and she got a huge payout when she turned 18. So she bought the house for cash. Why she needed a house that big, I don't know, but there you go. And, um... She came around one day and she knocked on the door said that her kitten had gotten out. And she was very, very worried and all this lot. And just as she was about to walk away, I thought, you know what, I'm going to fucking say something. And I said to her, look, I said, I'm not being funny, great. I said, but could you, like, at night, when you're outside, cut the noise down a little bit? I said, I've got a little boy and all that. And she was absolutely mortified yeah yeah no worries no worries you know and all that and uh, eventually her kitten was found and all of this lot you know and it was like somebody had, had switched her off she became 
model neighbour after that. And if she was out in the garden and it got a bit loud, I would just have to, Grace, time to shut it all down. She'd go, oh, all right. I mean, five minutes, the lights would be off and they'd be inside and, and the noise level would be right down here. Do you know what I mean? It was great. And I just got a fucking trained and a for sale sign come up outside and I was like, bollocks. That means I'll get a family next door because it's a big house. It's the same size as this, but they've had their attic converted so there's another room upstairs and this is a three bedroom house you know and then this this room and the lounge you know as in my house has been knocked through to one so it's a massive room yeah so instead of having a lounge and a dining room which is what it's supposed to have or in my case a lounge and an office he's got the whole thing knocked through to one this end is his lounge area he's got his sofas and his tv and then down that end he's got a big dining room table he's got a massive fuck off fish tank on the wall between me and him he's also got a couple of cats that he doesn't let out you know they're indoor cats and all of that lot um and when he first moved in i thought oh you know yeah young again but a young man no family what's he want with a big fuck off four bed house you know and he said at first his aunt and uncle were going to share the house with him i've never seen them i met them when they first moved in but then I, i've only like heard her voice a couple of times never seen them after that they went and did big shopping trip at ikea after a couple of months because you have to go mainland for that because we don't have ikea and um that was it i haven't seen either of them since so I don't know whether he's screaming at aunt and uncle and they don't leave the house or, you know, or what's going on. But it's weird because he's there and he's on his own. And I don't give a stuff if he can hear me. Do you know? I just find it weird when you get a bloke or a single person in a massive house. So you need all those bedrooms for? I never see anybody going in and out. He never seems to have people round, even during the summer. I don't have anybody round. Well, he didn't obviously this year because the lockdown, but you know, like last summer, nobody ever went round. You don't see people going in and out. I'm beginning to wonder if he's also, you know, disabled in some way. Mentally men mentally disabled, mentally impaired, whatever way you wanna however you wanna call it, and I'm not meaning to be insulting. You know, he could, he could be autistic for all I know. Um, he's not like my son, but then my son's high functioning in a different way. But, you know, then one of my sons who's not autistic carries on like that sometimes. So, you know, it's... Uh, that might be what his issue is, I don't know. He's a little bit younger than me. I'd say he's late 30s, maybe early 40s. I don't know, it's just weird. Just weird. So I don't really know what to do, you know. I've totally talked to Royal about my neighbour. You know, when I see him, he's perfectly polite. <laughs> On the couple of occasions that I have, I've probably seen him about four times since he's been here. He's been here a couple of years now. You know, when I when I go over the shop, if he's out the front, he's like, oh, afternoon, you know, and he's he's perfectly nice. But yeah, just. Okay, so the Ace of Cups. Um, somebody asked me in yesterday's video or the day before, do I ask a specific question when I pull the cards? Not really. Um, what I what I say when I prep my decks, I don't do readings very often. Um, I don't read for other people. I don't do spreads for myself. I pull a card a day and that's that's more or less it. I have done spreads for other people. I have done readings for other people. Um, it's just not something I do a lot. I have a, I suppose you could say long-standing um, thing where it's like, tell me what I should know today. Yeah? That, that kind of thing, it's, it's not so much as a what is going to happen because tarot cards don't tell you that. Tarot cards do not tell you what is going to happen. It's more like, you know, feelings and 
if you're questioning yourself it might be a little nudge in the, in in the right direction okay so it's more that i sort of say you know what what can i expect what's going on and sometimes it's about my life and sometimes it's sometimes i pull a card and i'm like i really don't i don't get where that's come from and i i tell you guys about it and i'll write it down and one of you turns around and goes oh my god that was so me and i'm like awesome that's great as long as it made sense to somebody <laughs> you know um i don't obviously i don't tell you guys when i sort of pull it and go oh fuck that you know i don't know where the fuck that's come from but if it reson and quite often i will pull a card and i think oh that resonates so much for me and four other people go wow that is like that is just so where i am at the moment and i'm like well that's brilliant because it resonates with several people so yeah it's more of a sort of you know what can i expect how should i deal with what is going on um am i going the right way kind of thing it's it's, it's more of a broad you know it's a bit hard to explain really it's not an exact question so let's pull a pen out i don't color code this the same way i do the rest of my journal either i literally just pull out a different pen for the day that way all of my pens get used <laughs> because I love these pens all of my pens get used and um it just makes it easier to read each day because they are in different colors those two believe it or not that's purple and this blue um yeah the the pens all get used um so I'm not in danger of one of them running out or anything like that and it just does make it easier to read what's going on um I color code over here dependent on what deck I'm using in this month I've only used this deck I said to myself last month next month october you know halloween month use the everyday witch tarot because that's obviously a little bit more because it's all witches and that and I, and I haven't picked it up it's over there in the trolley and i just haven't picked it up i haven't used it the everyday enchantment tarot is literally it's like it's sitting there and the only time it gets moved is when i want the pot of water that's underneath because that's my paint water but i've done any painting all month so you know anyway the aces are the condensed card for the entire suit and you know, if you pull an ace it's it's a bit like it's going oi pay attention and cups are to do with emotions now as you can see we've got a bunch of young swimmers here they've got a trophy in their hands and they are chuffed two bits well this of course resonates with what's going on with me this week um for those of you that don't know <laughs> where the fuck have you been um on Monday, my daughter had her 12 week scan um, with my very first grandchild. And um, we found out she's 13 weeks, three days. And then on Tuesday, she got to marry um, her beloved Rob. And it was a lovely day. It was, it's just been a fantastic week. That's why I'm so fucking knackered. Um, I'm emotionally and mentally worn out. So she she messaged me earlier and went, oh, at me. And I was like, it's fine. It's a come down, you're okay um go you know go out for a nice walk and she says she feels much better now which is great um and she was i don't even know what's going on and i was like it, it's fine it's fine it's hormones you know um but that's the worst thing you can tell a pregnant woman is it? it's, it's fine don't panic don't panic it's fine you're fine it's hormones it's, i hated that when people said that to me Do you know I, I felt like i was being dismissed but um yeah so you know we've had reason to celebrate and we've had reason to celebrate as a family um this is a team but you know when you when you are on something like a swim team or an orchestra or anything that is a group activity that you all work really really hard to you become a family with with your teammates you know you you if you are not necessarily children but you know older and you're into sports and you're traveling with it then you are eating and sleeping and spending more time with these people than you do with your own families you know they become a whole different kind of family so it, it, it does kind of tie in um, and basically all this card is saying is you know congratulations revel in it celebrate it for all it is worth piss people off with how happy and excited you are uh, you know, all of that stuff have a ball celebrating the good shit that's going on in your life we need good shit this year um covid doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon you know um i don't know what the situation is in the us but in the uk we are bit by bit by bit going back into lockdown uh that doesn't bother me you know i'm all right i've i've i get my food delivered and i've i've got stocks and you know and all that lot um 
I know some people are struggling with it. So focus on all the little good things that are going on. Focus on, you know, the little achievements. Did you shower for the first time in a week today? Brilliant, that's great. Well done you, you know. Have you managed to clean the house a bit? That's fantastic as well. Even if it's just something that seems little and insignificant to you, it's not. Write it down. This is why I keep a chore chart. It's not to nag me to do it. It's so that I can look back and go, wow, look at that. You know, I did a whole day where I, I, I did all my chores or I, I filled in all my habits or <laughs> it rarely fucking happens. But I don't dwell on the fact that it rarely happens or I don't dwell on the fact like, you know, when I, when I look at my chore chart in a minute, I haven't done bugger all to the house all week. My sink upstairs is disgusting. Can't remember the last time I changed my bed, <laughs> you know, but I'm focusing on the good things at the moment. And that's the best way to be. Optimism and not pessimism. A for celebration. It doesn't matter what you're celebrating. Make it a party. Okay, today, um, no, I haven't done book rule. What day, what day even is it? It's the 22nd. Right, um, I did clean the loo and I did do some laundry. So that's something. I need to clean the banister and the bathroom because they are both rank. The dishwasher is getting done, which is something. And I need to get out there and clean the kitchen down again. Okay, um, let's see what did we do today. The car went down for its MOT. I caught a little bit of Elle's stream. I caught April's stream. Didn't catch the end because I was obsessed with Daryl. I kept wandering in and getting bits of April, but I got the majority of it. Um, I'm pretty sure they've all gone out. I think that actually went out a couple of days ago. Um, right, okay. If you missed it, that's next week. Uh, not a lot on. Callie's got an appointment with the um, the um, obstetrician. I got a nail appointment. My mum's got a flu jab, so yeah, just a few bits. We've got an appointment on Saturday as well. Just remember that. Right now, I haven't yet filmed my fit through of my junk journal I haven't tested my sewing machines either to see if any either of them work Star Trek Discoveries started back up this week and The Mandalorian starts up again on Friday and I want to watch both of those so I'm going to write a ticket for The Mandalorian what I like to do when I'm watching stuff is I write a little little ticket that I can then just move through my journal and as I watch it it gets moved um, to the following week if I don't watch something it stays on the week it was on there we go let's have a pink one now I found the best pens to use on these kind of tabs is a Statler Lumo color these are brilliant these are better than fucking sharpies in my book Oh, I run out of room. Yeah, they don't smudge, they dry quick. And uh, they're permanent. So yeah, all I literally do is, um, like when I watch the um, this episode of Star Trek Discovery, I will move that little tag, because I love Star Trek, I'll move that tag to that week. And then when I watch that episode, I will move it on. Um, I used to do that with um you, you if you've seen older videos you'll know that i did that with all the arrowverse stuff but um <sighs> kyle and i've just done a massive binge of those so um you know they're uh, they're not in there so, so yeah there they are look <laughs> super got arrow and the flash um oh god knows where the legends tag is that's in here somewhere i've also got a card tag there um i did have some for wrestling and I want to redo the wrestling ones because I do forget where I am I need to go through my weeks and see if they're in here somewhere because 
I'm sure I had some. There you go, there they are, found them. Smackdown, NXT and Raw. I stopped moving them during Covid because everything stopped, didn't it? I wonder if I've got any others in here. I thought I had a Legends of Tomorrow one as well, but I didn't keep up with this, did I? The decorating. It's a bit of a shame, really. I quite liked it. No, oh, I don't know where the Legends one is then. But it's good that I've got those. So what I can do now is... Um, NXT was on last night and I haven't watched that yet. Smackdown. I have watched from Friday, so that can go there. Raw. I have watched. So that can go through to next week. Um, next pay per view is. I'm pretty sure it's then, but I might be wrong. I'll have to check. I don't think I've written it in here. And then it just reminds because my memory is so so bad that um, I'm never sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I haven't actually written it down. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure it's that week because I said week Sunday. So there we go. Right, I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> um, there is no junk journaling going on at the moment mainly because I'm too freaking tired and I just can't concentrate. I need to print up... Um, some photos from the wedding so that I can put those in. I also want to re-scan the scan pictures, that are the ultrasound pictures that Callie had done um, at a better quality, but she's on holiday with Rob now until their home Monday. And although she's local, as in she's on the island, I don't want to pull her home to say to her, could you go and grab your scan pictures so that I can scan them in. I might text her and say, where are they? And I'll go grab them myself if she's happy to do that. Um, but I don't want to sort of pull her away from her holiday so yeah um, as soon as she does though I can scan them in and, and print off some real nice copies to go in my journal and write about how excited I am and then write about the wedding and yeah we'll just go from there but I definitely think now that we are like you know the 26th of October I definitely think I can pull a load of these pages out I'll keep that one in but I think I'm just going to pull these ones out because I've not used them you know, so I can put, um, cause that was, did I put the number inside? Yes, I did, I put it there, didn't I? Yeah. So, I mean, I could, if I wanted to, um, put the scans in there because I made that a tuck spot. You know, um, so we'll have to see. If not, I might put the scans in the wedding sort of all on here, but I've still got all of this that I could use as well. So, you know, I might just leave that bit like that. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I will put these away and we'll use these, you know, next next year or something. I mean, that one I can use anytime I like, but yeah, I think I'll definitely use these other two in the future so yeah that's what I'll, what I'll do I'll put those up there uh, but I will do that all on like one video we'll do like a big talk and you know I'll, I'll talk you all through it and voice over it and whatever you know we'll, we'll figure it out anyway I'm gonna go now because this has turned out to be quite long and I'm tired and I've still got to edit it yet um what was I gonna say I can't remember I can't remember have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions or feedback or anything else you want to say, chuck it all down below, even if it's just a hi. Kisses for Daryl would also be very much appreciated. He loves them. You know he does because you see how he comes down and demands kisses when he's awake. He's paying the bum. Um, if you click the book down in the corner, you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that then appears down below, you'll be notified when I upload new content. As well as here on YouTube, I do stream Wednesday evenings at 7.30 p.m. UK time on Twitch and Saturday evenings 8 p.m. UK time on Twitch. Um, the link can be found down below. Uh, Wednesdays is bullet journaling or similar. 
and Saturdays are fibre crafts. So at the moment it's knitting. Um, but I'll be getting my spinning wheel out next month. I also plan to have a go at sewing. Um, I also have uh, I also plan to have a go at this this cross stitch thing. I don't do cross stitch. Um, you know, loads of things, loads of things that I want to have a go at. So that's that's on Saturdays. But it, I would really love if you came and joined me, and you could subscribe to me on Twitch now too. <laughs> Which is brilliant. I just made affiliate. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've made little patches and everything. So I'd really love it if you came and joined me over there as well. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in Friday's edition of Stay in My Boo Channel. Take it easy guys. Bye.